This video shows you how to use the Auto Refresh API Ajax WordPress plugin on this page at uh, the JSON Content Importer website. Everything is explained and if you look down there, the time is always updated. So in this video, I show you how to get this done for your website with a time JSON feed or any other feed which changes uh, every now and then or often. For that auto update feature, we need uh, the auto refresh API Ajax WordPress plugin, which we got here in the version 1.0.0, the initial one. This places an auto refresh AA here. And at that, we have several parameters we can set. The first parameter is the URL, the source of the data. If we open that, we see here that uh, the JSON gives us the time, the current date and some additional data. If we do a refresh, the time is updated. Notice that this URL comes from the server API JSON content importer.com and we are here at the server video json content importer.com and uh, therefore it's needed to proxy this url so this url is fetched by the plugin and passed to the video json content importer.com uh, to handle this uh, by ajax uh, to do this we need a secret key to do this in a safe mode just um, change this secret key as you like and if you reload it, it with an empty it automatically generates a new secret key so you can leave this as it is and the next question is how often should we update this is the refresh time in milliseconds so 1000 is one second so we have a json and now we want to define what part of the JSON is refreshed. Here we have items, zero current date. If we have a look at the JSON, um, here we have items. It's the first item of an array and there we have current date. So we take current date as value for uh, our refresh data. Uh, the plugin tries to identify depending on this string it's separated by a dot uh, the items item zero and item zero current date what value will be displayed so if we change this here for an invalid value for example and save it um, the plugin will tell us that he can't find a current date one so back to the valid um, selection of a JSON. Next step is to um, define where to show uh, the JSON data. You um, see here a DOM page selector in a jQuery style you might know. It's a diff element and this diff element has the ID show time. So on a page where a diff with ID show time is, the plugin will insert the data, the current time. Um, for that, we uh, create a new page. This page is in a Gutenberg style. It's um, HTML uh, block. We insert diff ID show time wait a second. And if we preview that, we get a page where uh, the time is updated. So we got a working page with an updating time. In some cases, you uh, have an API which needs authentication or has some special things you have to send in the header or so. Um, and this simple getting uh, an uh, URL here is not enough. And what you can do here is to use the JSON Content Importer Pro plugin to create uh, special JSON for this auto refresh API Ajax plugin. For that, we activate the JSON Content Importer Pro plugin and uh, set up a new template uh, of the plugin. The plugin template is um, formatted in JSON, though new time will be the new JSON um, key value. And uh, the twig code is here for item zero current date for the current date 
uh, picked out of the JSON uh, we uh, already used here. So with this template, we can create a new page on this new page. Also with the Gutenberg shortcode, we uh, use the ID of the template is JSON Content Importer Pro ID is seven. And this gives us a page uh, like this. Uh, it's uh, the JSON code. And if I reload this here, it gives me always the new time. So, and if I add at this URL, um, show is OC, we only get the JSON. And with this JSON URL, we can work in the ARAA plugin. At the settings of the Auto Refresh APA Ajax plugin, I inserted uh, this new. Uh, URL with show is OC at the end. And if I save that, the system tells me, oh, there is no item zero current date. I have to change this to new time as I defined it in uh, the template. And then, okay, um, this plugin finds new time and the time in the JSON.